My name is Paul Dosher. I am the uh, CEO for LucidWorks. We are the, we're the sponsor of Lucene Revolution. So I don't know how much you know about LucidWorks. We're the commercial software company that sponsors the Apache uh, Lucene Solar projects. And we actually host this conference. So our goal here is really twofold. One is to make sure you have the best educational experience possible. And so we really focus on keeping all the presentations extremely technical so you derive a lot of value out of how other people are using the technology, where the technology is going, how do you take advantage of it, and get as much technical information as you possibly can. Our second goal is to not lose a lot of money at the conference. And so by having the number of attendees here that we have, I think we've accomplished the second goal, which is good for us. And then you'll let us know over the next couple of days how we do at the first goal, OK? So I'm just going to be up here for a few minutes. What I like to do is I like to, based on the questionnaires, uh, to give you some feedback as to who this audience is, okay? And what is it that you came here to find out and what is it that you came here to do? So we've been running this conference now for, you can see it, this is our fourth year. Uh, once again, we continue to see incremental improvements year over year in terms of attendees, which is great for us. Uh, and it makes us very excited because it means more and more people are taking advantage of the technology and hopefully using it uh, um, for your benefit. Uh, as you can see, in uh, Sinshine uh, in Germany uh, last fall, we actually co-located with the uh, ApacheCon uh, and ran the conference with them, which was a, a good opportunity for us. It doesn't look like they are going to do a conference in Europe this year, so it looks like we're going to take care of that ourselves. So there you go. We're excited to announce that we're going to hold the Lucene Revolution Conference in Europe in Dublin, uh, November 4th through the 7th. So for those of you that are active in the social media, if you could please help us start to build momentum uh, towards that conference, we'd really appreciate it. And for those of you that would uh, also like to attend, we'd love to see you there as well. So we're going to put on another great performance, uh, and we're looking forward to it. Why Dublin? It's easy to get to. Uh, a real hub of technology uh, in Europe, uh, great for entertainment, uh, you know, nightlife, and very affordable. So uh, it seems like a great intersection of opportunity for us to, to host the next Lucene Revolution Europe uh, in Dublin. So you all filled out a questionnaire uh, before you got here. And like I said, what I'd like to do is let you know what your colleagues, what the background is, what the experience is, so that you understand the people that you're interacting with, and it gives you an opportunity to get as much out of the conference as possible. So as you can see, we have a kind of a very wide range of uh, job functions. And, and what you would expect, heavy uh, focus on the uh, other, whatever that is. So not quite sure how you define another, but, uh, or how that goes on a business card. But uh, maybe we need to do a better job of, of qualifying or cla helping you classify your, uh, your responsibilities. I don't know. Uh, but as you can imagine, a lot of Lucene solar developers, which is great. The other thing which we found pretty interesting is if you look at this, uh, you add the 32 and the 9, right, you get 33%. 33% of people are either not a current user of the technology or have less than one year's experience with it. We take this away as a tremendous positive opportunity. That means that there's new people coming into this community and looking for ways, looking for opportunities to take advantage of the technology on how to exploit it for your own benefit. So this for us was great news. And so 
that's why when we, when we put the conference together uh, and, and, we, and we look forward to you know, having this great experience, it really is around how do we help you learn as much as you possibly can in these two days uh, to, again, to go back to your companies, to go back to your organizations and take maximum advantage of it. So uh, we take this as great news. We also have a global community. You can see what the distribution is. Not unlike, you know, not uh, sort of unexpected that the vast majority from the United States, but we have 19 countries represented uh, at the conference. So again, I encourage you to, at the social breaks, over the meal time, uh, even on the birds of a feather, to really sort of interact with people from around the world and really start to think about this as a global community and how do you leverage, how do you work together, how do you understand uh, how to take benefit of the technology and what it can do for you. So again, great opportunity for us, great uh, experience for us all the way around. We also wanted to give you an idea of the cross-section of the types of organizations that are represented here. You can see all the way from the university systems uh, all the way to uh, the largest corporate enterprises. So there's a wide range of experience in the room right now around different opportunities to take advantage of Lucene and Solar and how do you, take, how do you apply that particular capability and technology to your particular domain. So again, we would encourage you to look forward for opportunities to interact with other people that may or may not be outside your particular vertical market segment and to look for opportunities where you can understand and discover how other people are taking advantage of the technology. So again, we're, we can't thank you enough all for taking time out of your busy schedules to come here and, and participate with us. The conference wouldn't be the conference without the sponsors. So as you could tell, um, probably while you were eating breakfast, that there's a number of sponsors that we have out there. And we'd like to thank each and every one of them for participating and helping, again, fund the cost of the technology. Because LucidWorks, we're the commercial software company. We sell support services, professional services, and training, and commercial licensed technology on top of the open source. We're not a professional conference you know, company. We just do this, as I said, for the benefit of the community. And so we need the help and support of our partners uh, to go ahead and make sure that this becomes at least a break-even proposition for us. And so we thank them for coming here. We look forward to you interacting with them and understanding how they participate uh, in our ecosystem. So we hope you take advantage of, of having all of them out there. Could I very quickly, could somebody turn off the lights real quick? I'd like the, the committers to stand up that are in the room. Please. Can we turn up the lights? Uh, we only got two of them? Come on, guys. Where are the rest of them? Oh, there's one. There we go. Uh, they're, all stand, they're all standing in the back. So I, the reason why, thank you very much. The reason why I wanted to do that is because these are the people you obviously want to connect with while you're here. These are the deep experts in the technology, these are the people who have committed their work and their efforts to making this the best search technology in the world, which we're extremely proud to support. And therefore, I wanted to make sure that we identified those individuals. So again, during your breaks, in the sessions, you get a chance to understand who those people are and can you know, just approach them, ask them questions, and, and start to build a relationship there. So we thank them for participating. This is an interesting slide. When you describe what your current situation is with SolarForge, you all know SolarForge was released through the Apache Software Foundation back in October. We've already, again, through the Apache Software Foundation, have released 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 is currently uh, going through its, uh, its final, I think, testing phase. But uh, it's, you know, we have over 35% saying they're ready to implement it but want to know more. So a lot of what we tried to do with the schedule this week, or these two days, is to really kind of get everybody up to speed on Solar 4 and what the opportunities, what the capabilities represent there. So we're very happy, again, at the outcome of this particular slide to understand what people are doing. It's curious also, we thought, that there's people coming from other search technologies. That's, we see that a lot. I mean, with all the disruption that's gone on in the search space, uh, especially with the acquisitions of most of the major commercial competitors, uh, we're seeing more and more organizations look to open source and looked at the Lucene Solar technology in order to build the next generation of search technology and search applications. So, I mean, this gives us, again, a great opportunity to see the growth in our, in our market. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we have a certain number of people that are looking to upgrade uh, from the older versions as well. So all of that stuff, we hope that, you know, we have provided a great educational opportunity for you to satisfy all three of your agendas, regardless of which one you're in. 
So what do we have today? I'm excited to announce that we're going to have Hillary Mason talk. She's the chief scientist at Bitly, and I'll introduce her in a few minutes. But she's going to talk about, as you can see, the importance of search and big data. So I'm really excited, and we're very proud and honored to have her come with us. We've got a lot of, we've got four breakout session rooms, okay, including deep dive on the technology, but they're not theme-based rooms. Sometimes you go to conferences and you sit in a room and all the presentations are around a particular theme. We had such a cross uh, um, uh, set of presentations that we couldn't sort of fit them all nicely into that kind of a format. So I'd encourage you to make sure that you're keeping track of your program so that if you want to, you know, understand, you know, how the big data is or the use cases are or the deep dive stuff, it may be in different rooms, so you just have to be aware of that, okay? Uh, Stump the Chump is always fun. For those of you that are new, uh, one of our uh, LucidWorks engineers and committer, Haas, uh, he sits up here with the panel of judges, and you all get to ask him questions. And if you get to stump him on a question about Lucene Solar, you win a prize. So we provide beer. It's usually very entertaining, because uh, uh, I think last year there was maybe one person that stumped him. Um, and even that was sort of a, we have a panel of judges that decide whether he actually got stumped or not. So it's a good time, and we look forward to that. And then uh, tonight is the uh, party uh, at the Tipsy Crow, uh, and uh, it starts at about 5.30. So after you have a busy day, and it's now really time to relax, uh, we've got a nice opportunity down at the Gas Lamp District for all of you, okay? Tomorrow, our keynote will be uh, Yannick Seely, who's the founder of Solar and Steve Rowe, who's currently the PMC chair for the committers, uh, we'll talk about the Lucene Solar Roadmap. So that'll be first thing tomorrow morning. So have a good time tonight, but not too much of a good time that you miss that, of course. And then uh, we're also going to have Peter come from LinkedIn, and he's going to talk about, as you can see, reputation and relevance from text and structured attributes. So we're really excited to have LinkedIn not only as a sponsor, but to have Peter uh, as one of our presenters, keynote presenters for tomorrow morning. So that's sort of an overview of what we got going on for the next two days. There we go. In each one of the sessions today, um, based on how the Q&A goes, so we ask you to be very proactive, very engaged in the Q&A, the presenter will give a person one of these particular books to take home, okay? So we ask you to listen closely, stay focused, and be very involved in the Q&A, and then based on that, one of the presenters, like I said, will uh, uh, give one of the individuals in the presentation, one of these books to take home. We think it provides a very interesting uh, wide range of, of uh, again, additional educational opportunities. We're looking for you to connect with us socially. So in, on your chair, there was a card about a number of different contests, if you will, about tweeting, retweeting, taking pictures, and really starting to get very active uh, in, in Twitter and on other social media platforms. So. Um, there are prizes going to be awarded for the people that tweet, retweet, and do photos and all that sort of fun stuff. So we hope that you engage with us socially because we really want to start to really understand the order of magnitude of the community uh, that supports, uses, takes opportunity with Lucene Solar and looking for you to start to help engage with us. So we encourage you strongly to visit our sponsors. Uh, they're the ones that have helped, like I said, kind of make this all happen, and we think they have very interesting opportunities for all of you. And then in addition to that, uh, there's a sort of a little job board out there. So if you're looking for work or you're a company that is looking to hire Lucene Solar uh, developers or experts, we're just providing a facility for, again, for people to sort of interact and, and to uh, work together and to uh, communicate more effectively. So again, encourage you to take a look at that. Okay. So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to introduce Hillary Mason. So let me give you a quick...